Don't call these the Panda 1s. I think one of the best things Jordan Brand has done over the last few years is bringing back the Jordan 1 in that 85 shape. We've already seen a few colorways now. The neutral grays in 2021, and then last year we saw the release of that Georgetown colorway. And this year, Jordan Brand decided to bring back one of the original 85 colorways of the Jordan 1. Excited to finally get these. My name is Josh, and I will be reviewing the Jordan 1 85 black and white. So this pair right here, the Jordan 1 OG 85 High, in this black and white colorway, these will officially release February the 15th worldwide for a retail price of 200 US dollars and in Europe it will be 200 euros. I managed to get these early because a few days ago on the sneakers app during a sneakers live event, these shock dropped on the app. I know a lot of you guys were saying that it didn't really pop up on your screens. I had multiple phones open in front of me, each with a different Nike account and on three of them it didn't pop up, it just popped up on one of my accounts no idea what the reasoning was behind that but shout out to nike for the early access and this pair right here is an iconic colorway because it was one of the original 1985 colorways of the jordan 1. we have seen it retro a couple of times now in 2008 it was part of the countdown pack and it had the Jumpman logo on the tongue and then in 2014 this colorway retroed again but this is the first time we were ever seeing this colorway retro in that original 1985 shape and if this pair is the first time that you've really been interested in a pair of 85 Jordan 1s, there are quite a few differences between these and your normal mainline Jordan 1s that get released. The most obvious difference is on the toe box. So here I got a pair of the Mocha Jordan 1s and have a look at the 85 pair. Just look at how much thicker that mud guard is. You'll also notice the shape of these at the back of the shoe specifically. You'll see that on the 85 pair, it's pretty much straight up, but it's much more curved on your normal Jordan 1s. You'll see that the Wings logo also is noticeably different between the two. The midsole as well is slightly thinner and more curved on the 85 pair. And finally, my favorite difference has to be the swoosh on the 85s. You'll notice that the swoosh is definitely lower on the mid panels on this version. And it's also a much thicker swoosh than you typically get on most Jordan 1s these days. We've also seen the same colorway drop on another Jordan 1 this year, but it was a golf version. How many of you guys managed to cop that? Leave a comment. But let's be honest, there's one thing you think of when you see this colorway and that's gotta be the Panda Dunks. That's because we've seen them restock a million times over the last three years. It was the real pandemic. So I can't really blame you if you're not that excited about this pair because you've seen that dunk so much. That being said, this is too nice of a shoe to just simply call it a Panda Jordan 1. This is an OG colorway of the Jordan 1 in that OG shape, so give this shoe the respect it deserves. Additionally, with these black laces that come standard with the pair, you also get a pair of white laces, which I've put on here, so let me know in the comments what do you guys think looks better. I'm probably gonna stick with the black laces on mine, but the white option is pretty good too. Now let's talk about the leather quality, because leather quality on 85 Jordan 1s is one of the most hotly debated topics in the sneaker world. And let me preface this by saying I'm not a leather expert. What me, a casual shoe collector, would consider as good leather is different from what a leather expert would consider as good leather, someone like a Rose Anvil, for example. So from what I can tell, this leather is definitely a thicker cut than some other Jordan 1s. It does feel pretty average though. It's not as soft. There's definitely no tumble whatsoever, but usually a thicker cut of leather does typically mean good quality and this is a type of leather that you know will age well over time. I'm happy to say also that the thickness of this leather is not as thick as the leather on the neutral gray 85s. That leather was so thick that the shoe actually caused me a lot of pain when I wore it. Thankfully, I do not feel that at all with this pair. The leather on this is quite similar, I would say, to the Georgetown 85s that dropped last year. So overall, I would say it is above average leather for a Jordan 1. For sizing on these, I got these in my true size, which is a US 11, and I'm happy to say it does fit me pretty well. I'm not experiencing that ridiculous amount of tightness I felt on the neutral gray 85s. And the leather was soft enough that I didn't feel like the shoe really needed much break in time. If you buy this in your true size, you wear it, and you feel like the shoe is slightly tight, I would suggest switching out the insole and that's because one more difference between the 85 Jordan 1s and your regular Jordan 1s is the insole. The insole is slightly thicker on these 85 versions so if you switch out to a thinner insole you might find the shoe a bit more comfortable. Overall the Jordan 1 85 in the black and white colorway are these a cop or a drop? This is a solid shoe. Shout out to Jordan Brand for giving the OG treatment on this iconic colorway. The main reason why the Panda Dunks are the most popular dunks out there is just because of how wearable that colorway is. This right here is a pair of Jordan 
ones that you can wear with anything. Great shape on these, great colorway. If you are a fan of the ones, I don't see how you can possibly hate on this shoe. I definitely think this pair right here is a cop. Make sure you're following me, by the way, on Instagram and TikTok, dropping daily content on both those platforms. And if you want some listening content, make sure you check out my bi-weekly podcast, The Kickback Pod. Starting this year, there's going to be a lot of very familiar faces from the sneaker world appearing as guests on the podcast. So make sure you guys check it out. Thank you guys for watching the video and supporting the channel. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.